After the end of the Second World War, there were many radio and radar engineers that were no longer required. Many of them went off to universities or research institutes and continued much of the work that they did, but outwards towards the galaxies. In 1961, for example, some radar engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory were able to transmit a signal from Earth and bounce it off of Venus. This gave extremely accurate measures of the distance from Earth to Venus. As a consequence, you can then make much more accurate measurements of the distance between Earth and the Sun. And if you know accurate measurements of the Earth to the Sun distance, then when you're looking at the nearby stars in our own galaxy, and you're using the principle of parallax, so essentially stereo pictures of the nearby stars, is if you know the baseline of your stereo picture extremely accurately, you can make much more accurate measurements of how far away those near stars are. So these early radar measurements of Venus actually allowed us to determine not just the size of our own, the, our own space in the galaxy, but ultimately the size of our own galaxy. Two other scientists in the 1960s, Arneo Penzias and Robert Wilson at Bell Labs, were doing what was now called radio astronomy. They were listening to the radio signals coming from outside of Earth. They were working with a small horn antenna system and they were desperately trying to calibrate it extremely accurately, but they kept picking up a noisy background signal. They looked at every possible explanation for where this background signal was coming from, including the possibility that it was just all the pigeon droppings of the pigeons that were living inside the antenna. And so they cleaned it all out and tried every possible way to make the antenna as perfect as they could. But they were still picking up this strange background signal. It just so happens a few years earlier, the theoretical astrophysicists had been proposing a new model for the formation of the universe called the Big Bang Theory. One of the things that the Big Bang Theory predicted is that there would be a remnant glow of the after effects of the Big Bang that would be measurable in the microwave part of the spectrum. What this discovery led to was that Penzias and Wilson won a Nobel Prize because what they were detecting was the cosmic background radiation that had been predicted by the theory of the Big Bang.